So having played this DLC for almost two weeks now, thanks to Gearbox allowing me to play it early, I've had the chance to experiment with every weapon this DLC offers. The DLC of Bounty of Blood. And today guys, I give you my top 10 favourite weapons. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it, leaving a like really helps out and subscribe if you do want to see more. So having quite a lot of time to use all weapons from this DLC, today I'll bring you my top 10 favourites. Now this isn't the top 10 most powerful, it's just the ones I feel work best for me and offer the most. So let's get into it. And in at number 10 we have the beacon. So the beacon is a Maluan pistol which like previous to this kind, namely the Hellshock, is a weapon people know of but don't really use. I feel the beacon will go that same route. I already think people are actually overlooking this incredible little pistol because as you can see by the background footage now, this thing is in fact an animal. It's even better than the Hellshock which as you know is already a great weapon. The beacon's speciality is on reload you let off a powerful Nova Burst, which is actually quite efficient for what it is. So this Maluan pistol comes offering all elements and the ability to switch between any random two, like 99% of other Maluan weapons. It also has that charge time too, before you can fire it off. But once you do fire it off and let it rip, that's exactly what this thing does. This amazing little pistol is a will drop, but it's also a dedicated boss drop is none other than Jared Logan, who can be found within the Blood Sun Canyon. Now, what I will add, I have made a complete guide for all legendaries and the locations in which you will find them. That video I will link within the video description if you see any today that you're interested in farming. Okay, so we're going to move on and in at number nine, we have the proprietary license. Now this Hyperion SMG I've already made a video on in which I mentioned that this was a weapon I saw quite early into playing this DLC but I pulled it away and kind of forgot about it. And that was my bad for sure because after actually testing this thing I found out it truly is unique and actually an amazing weapon. So this SMG comes offering all elements and is a 5 round burst. Each shot will stick a projectile if you land it to the body and it will deal damage over time. Headshots ricochet to nearby enemies and do some amazing damage at the same time. So this weapon right here is a truly capable and powerful SMG. Now I called it in my video the redistributor 2.0 and to be honest having this thing my redistributor has now gone inside of my bank. That's how good I think this thing is. It's single target damage in my opinion is way better than what the redistribute offers. But the redistribute does have the amped shot meaning the fact it chains to nearby enemies at the same time means that the redistribute is better for grouped up ads. But this is better though for single target damage but also at the same time does deal great damage to enemies gathered up. So it's a potent SMG and if you're interested in getting this thing it is indeed a world drop but it's dedicated boss drop is the Hydro Goyan who are located on the Obsidian Faust. Okay, so moving on, and in at number 8, we have the Flipper. Now the Flipper, I will straight up say, this has to be one of the best SMGs in the game right now. This Maliwan monster reminds me a lot of the old school Tsunami, but this packs way more of a punch. So this Maliwan SMG, when you first fire it, it starts off shooting one projectile. But that one projectile quickly becomes nine projectiles. And that is nine projectiles per one single and more consumed. So it's capable DPS is on another level. And using it within the slaughter shaft on Mayhem 10, I actually can't remember the last weapon I used that killed this quick. It is that crazy. Now since the tsunami, I haven't really used any other Maluan SMG. They all in reality were getting outshined by others new to the game or older ones receiving buffs. This one though is definitely staying within my loadout. And if you're interested in the flipper, it is a world drop, but it's dedicated boss drop is the Minosaur who can be found within the Blood Sun Canyon. So you know what to do if this looks interesting to you. Okay, so moving on, and in at number 7 we have the Unkempt Herald. The OG BL2 pistol returns to BR3 with the Bounty of Blood DLC. And while to be honest with you guys, I don't think it's as good in this game as well it was in BR2. Now I still feel it's definitely a good and unique weapon, it does pack a great punch and if you pair it with the right setup and build it's truly capable of some deadly things but personally I myself I'd rate it higher it's just there's just many other things on this list which are just better and to be honest I'm seeing myself not using it as much as I thought I would be but here it is 
In at number 7 and I feel where it belongs. Now the unkempt herald is a world drop but it's dedicated boss drop is Cave of Dowd who can be found upon Bloodsun Canyon. A weapon I definitely feel you need to use and decide yourself how you feel about it. Ok so moving on and in at number 6 we have the stone thrower. So this new Jacobs legendary assault rifle is in my opinion a weapon I don't think people are giving enough of their time to. Yeah, I know many people watching this video probably haven't even seen this yet, which is understandable, but for those that have will probably have used this thing thinking it was just that generic Jacob semi-auto spammy rifle. But you would be wrong. What this thing is without you actually realising unless testing it properly is an absolute beast. And I'd even put it above other amazing Jacob ARs like the Clairvoyance, which I rated really high. So what's special about this only really becomes apparent when you come face to face with mobs of enemies because hitting shots with this ricochets multiple shots to other targets and when you shoot this thing you will notice enemies all around you just getting mounted at the same time and if I'm honest I've waited for a Jacobs assault rifle to offer something like this so I'm glad we finally have it. This thing is crazy powerful and it does come in many different variants. Yes it's easy to overlook but that would be your mistake. Now the stone throw only drops from one place from this DLC and that's the Cormish boss found at the end of Ashfall Peaks. Okay so we're going to move on and in number 5 we have the light show. So the light show is a new legendary pistol and let me tell you it's truly unique and while we are at it I may as well say and get straight to the point this thing is incredible. So being just another Vladov pistol to many many people, how does it contend? Well to be honest it's the best, it's the best Vladov pistol in the game, it's probably the best Vladov weapon in the game right now, because it is like great. And as you can see via the gameplay footage, this thing is on another level DPS wise. So when we check out this thing firing, we can see it's truly unique for sure, as we can see it fires 4 projectiles per shot that split apart further and further over range, but it's still a very capable weapon for close to mid range combat for sure. Another thing you may notice also is the fact we see it deals 2 counts of elemental damage and it is because every single shot landed with this thing adds close to around 50% extra coil damage to that shot. Another amazing thing about this thing is it has zero recoil people and I mean absolute zero recoil. When you hold down that trigger it doesn't move a centimetre which is incredible too. So the light show in my opinion is a must get and how you get it is quite easy, it's a wheel drop but it's dedicated bus drop is laser dactyl who is located within the obsidian first. Ok so moving on and in at number 4 we have the quick draw. So the quick draw is one of a few epic weapons on this list and to be honest the reason they are here and this video isn't titled top 10 legendaries is because they are just too good to leave out. The quick draw is one of those epics. So it's obtained from a side mission called the quick and the quicker and this is a weapon I've already made a video on and if you want a full guide on it you'll find that video linked within the video description. But this little Jacobs monster is truly unique and I said this in my other video, this could easily be a legendary it's that good. So what's special about it you may be wondering if you haven't seen it already. Well upon switching to this weapon it automatically reloads and gains a damage bonus of around 130% and you truly feel it. Watching the background footage now you can see how potent this thing is. Now I actually went out my way to make a build surrounding this weapon and I mentioned in that video that using this with one other weapon in your loadout, double tapping that switch weapons means you can literally in a blink of an eye get that damage bonus and auto reload to trigger. And it more or less means you can have infinite amp shots, even better use four at the same time and switch between each, then we are talking people. Now I will experiment a little further with this thing as I do think it's capable of more than what I actually previewed within my initial video. But yeah guys the quick draw is an epic pistol, 100% worth your time getting. Ok so moving on and in at number 3 we have the Pea Shooter. So the Pea Shooter is another epic weapon, in fact another epic pistol I just couldn't leave off my list. This one I guarantee you have all seen but I know for an absolute fact some people didn't even try it out and probably disregarded the weapon and this is because you probably first saw it and then realised it's below your current level because you get this at the start in the DLC story which if you started at a level 57 you probably got it at a level 57 and because you're now a level 60 no doubt looking at this thing being a little lower this is one reason many people disregard it which would be a mistake because this thing demands your attention. So what this pea shooter does is on crit shots it spawns flakalite explosions that bounce off that crit shot 
and if enemies are nearby they get battered, otherwise they fall to the floor. Using it within the slaughter shaft you can see the damage this thing is capable of and it truly does pack a nasty punch. This thing also like the quick draw I feel 100% could be a legendary pistol. The fact it's better than 99% of the pistols in this game and is an epic I find hilarious. And I find it hilarious because a lot of people still don't even take a double lock at epics. But you'd be an idiot to ignore this thing. But yeah, at number 3 we have nothing other than the P. Shooter. So we're going to move on. And in at number 2 we have the Complex Root. So the Complex Root was a weapon I covered in one of the first videos I posted on this DLC. And it was for good reason. The version I first got and was testing wasn't even the best variant for my build and I was using it and still couldn't believe how easy it was utterly mounting enemies for what it was. I knew straight away it would be a popular weapon and while seeing all the videos, posts and comments on it, my thoughts come true. It is a special weapon. Now this Maliwan sniper with the typical Maliwan features of charging before firing and the ability to change its elemental type, upon shooting it consumes two ammo. But after hitting a target it forms like a laser cage around that enemy doing some amazing damage over time. Hit a headshot with this thing and that cage like projectile laser feature comes out tenfold. And to witness it is amazing and the damage it does is again amazing too. So this Maliwan Sniper is in my opinion one of the best and most fun weapons to come out of this new DLC. Now the weapon is a world drop as I first got mine out of a toilet, but its dedicated boss drop is Alani Dixon who can be found within Ash 4 peaks. Okay so we're going to move on and in at number one and my favourite weapon to come from this DLC and this may shock some of you but it's nothing other than the bubble blaster. Now this is the third epic pistol on this list and I know some people will think I'm crazy having this as my favourite weapon from this DLC but if I'm honest it's the one I had the most fun with. So the bubble blaster basically shoots bubbles and to be honest it isn't even the most powerful I've featured today. I just love the overall package. So it shoots radiation bubbles and many pop out of this thing but only a certain amount do that damage. And it's those projectiles that kind of travel upwards. Hit a target with those bubbles and watch them melt in a fashion which reminds me a lot of the OG pipe bomb which used to melt enemies which you might remember. Now obviously this doesn't have that kind of power but the power it does have is spectacular and watching it in action melt enemies is truly amazing. And the footage you can see in the background now, this is with no special buffs, two pistols or radiation from my build. This can only really get better. Now the epic bubble blaster is a side mission reward. The mission is on Ash 4 Peaks and it's called Dirty Deeds. The mission itself is amazing but the reward is even better in my opinion. So yeah guys, my favourite weapon to come out of this DLC is nothing other than the bubble blaster. And it's a weapon I truly recommend you trying out at least. And there we have it guys, my top 10 favourite Bounty of Blood DLC weapons. Let me know down below in that comment section which legendary or epic is your favourite from this DLC and let me know why. On that note we have come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did leave a like it really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. Also, if you'd like to support me directly, you can by clicking that join button and becoming a member of my channel. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.